Good afternoon. <clears throat> it's Thursday, May 6th. I'm going to try doing a demo of a chalice. I did one many months ago, but it was in a time lapse format. So one of the things that's misleading about these demos is that usually when I work I have got music in the background or a, a audiobook. Uh, particularly like a good audiobook since it's less likely to repeat anything. And I had to give up radio stations. That was just making me crazy. Although occasionally I can listen to a football game or a baseball game. So when I first started there was an assignment at one point about making eight matching things. And I did um, a set of eight matching wine glasses. And wine glasses are tricky because generally you make them in two parts. So you, you throw the bowl and then you throw the, the stem and then you have to trim them and attach them. And so there's a lot of ways to get it wrong. And then in the firing they can get soft and tip over. And, I've since decided I don't like wine glasses. And the eight turned out fine, except when I came time to sell them, I couldn't find anybody that wanted eight or even four. So I ended up selling them off, you know, in pairs or, anyway, it was, it was not a joyous thing for me. I don't think this is going to be a chalice. I don't think this clay has been sitting around for a bit. And it's being a little lumpy. So we're going to adapt because we can. And I can make a chalice some other time. It can help to have a fallback. So for some of you, it's hard to tell with scale here. This may seem like a pretty large mug. And it may hold 24 ounces when it's done, something like that. I used to have lots of customers for whom the standard was, needs to hold two beers. Okay, I get that. Uh, my own coffee mugs in the morning generally hold 20 ounces a piece. Um, I'm not big on refilling my cup every three minutes.
So I like putting grooves here underneath. Uh, just as an added detail, but often uh, it makes a single glaze more interesting. Where it uh, fills in those grooves, it'll be darker. So it adds a little drama and it doesn't take much on my part. And it also uh, doesn't look accidental. I mean, I don't mind accidental beauty, but I also would like, you know, to create the illusion that there was a guiding intelligence. So, the chalice became a mug. I keep trying on the chalices. And I think if there's a lesson in here somewhere, it's don't let your intentions lead you down the road of frustration. It's perfectly good to make other things. Have a good day.